find out you were uh, cleared to participate? Uh, like a couple of weeks ago. And what, what did they find on the... They went to Harvard and Michigan. What, what, what did they find? What did they do to make you capable of participating? Uh, you know, just run tests and just make sure that everything was good to go. And what was the diagnosis? Uh, I'm not allowed to talk to it publicly, so. But no NFL teams have any issue with this? No. What was your first reaction when you were told you can't participate in the combine because of this? Uh, you know, I was a little bit upset at first, but, you know, I was happy to just be able to meet with teams and get to, uh, you know, talk to a lot of coaches and, you know, just get to talk ball, which is, you know, why I was there. Was it a surprise, or were you kind of maybe expecting it, had it in the back of your mind? Um, well, I mean, I, I knew about it here, so... Um, you know, I was a little surprised that they held me out, but, you know, I was excited that I was able to do everything at Pro Day. What happened to you freshman year? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I got tested here and got cleared here, so. How long of a difference was that when you found out here and then you got tested or cleared? Was it a pretty short turnaround to it? Yeah. Can, can you take it back to the freshman year? Like, like, what happened? How did they diagnose it? Had you any idea about it beforehand? Uh, I mean, I didn't really know about it, um, but, I mean, they just found it on EKG. So, and how long was the wait then before you? Like a week. At that point, did you have some concerns about your future playing football? No. Well, was, was there any option for you to tell them that it happened freshman year? What? Uh, I think it was just life? the fact that I had not had any testing done uh, okay. recently, so um, just a lot of times the combine will play it safe. So, gotcha. you know, that's what they did. And, Sorry. How important was that you, for you to you know, be down in Indianapolis to meet with the teams, like you said, interview, and make the most of that time down there? I think it was huge just to be able to talk to them, get to meet with them, uh, get to have them, you know, know me as a person, as a player, and you know, just get to talk football with them, which you know I love to do. You were able to do everything today, no restrictions. No. How did it go? It was good. Did you have a certain forty you time did. you were hoping to hit? Uh, I mean, yeah, I was trying to get four seven, but. And I'm running 4-8, so I'm fine with that. What, what do you think? Uh, how do you think NFL teams view you now that they know about you know the heart, whatever? Uh, I mean, I think they're viewing me exactly the same as before. I mean, if you're cleared, you're cleared. It's not really you know anything to look back on. So. Did you have a, a sort of the approach coming into this? Like I got to prove everybody. You know, I got a lot to prove everybody. Uh, I mean, no. I mean, think just you know, film kind of speaks for itself mm -hmm. and. You know, stats and numbers and all that stuff. So, you know, just getting to, you know, talk ball. And, I mean, that's most important, not how fast they're running. The diagnosis that scared you, did it run through your mind that you may not put the ball again? No. Any uh, D tackles you think will really step up next year on the team? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're definitely going to have, you know, a lot of guys that play really well. I think Aubrey's going to be one of those guys. Uh, you know, Dwan Ford and, and Lawrence and. You know, I think there's a lot of Monet. You know, like, a lot of those guys are, you know, really good players and just taking it to the next step and just being full-time starters and, you know, backup players and getting more playing time and just being more consistent. I think that just helps you in the long run. So, I mean, they're going to definitely be competing, you know, all spring and, you know, fall camp for, you know, who's going to be the starters, which I think brings out, you know, the best in everyone. You've heard a bit about how Dwan Four's learned a bit from you and especially trying to replicate some of the things that you, are able to do what what have you seen specifically from him and how he can be an asset to this team going uh, you know there's like a lot there's a lot of rare there are a lot of rare times where you know you get a D tackle that you know excels in pass rush and he's one of those guys that you know really excels in in the pass rush game which you know translates huge to the NFL and you know I think it's something that you know he can continue to hone in on and work on and you know be a very productive player for our team and you know he's got all the tangibles and all the you know quick twitch and ability to move and bend that you know you want from a attacking defensive tackle. Back to the combine today. when they first told you can you just explain like the next steps what did you do immediately after um, you know that the first few hours? Uh, I mean just talk to our trainer my trainer here um, just about, you know, what was going on, you know, um, back when I was here earlier and just try to get in contact with, you know, whoever I could to, you know, figure out what the next step would be as far as uh, getting retested and just making sure everything was clear. And where did you go first, here or Harvard, or what was the next um, I went here and then I went to Harvard. What will you give an NFL team? I mean, do you have to 
talk about that with, with teams, <coughs> what you present for them? Uh, yeah, I mean, they ask you, like, what type of player you think you are. And, you know, I always answer just, you know, a playmaker, someone that's going to be disruptive and, you know, someone that's going to be productive and, you know, really try to, you know, impact the game. And I think that's something that's going to translate well to the next level. The, uh, the test that they did here in Harvard, what did they do exactly? Um, I mean, just, like, uh, recheck EKG, um, some stress tests, just running, um, MRI, just, like, everything like that. Battery of everything? Yeah. Is that something that the NFL is expecting you to do, I guess, regularly throughout your career, like, you know, every year or something? Or, is it, I mean, is there been any feedback on that? What, what's uh, I mean, I really don't know. Um, last time when I got it done here, I didn't have to do anything, so. You know, hopefully the same. Do you have to go back to Indy for the medical recheck? Oh, I haven't heard anything from that, no. I'm sure you've seen, you know, Nick Fairley. He's a guy that played you know, two years in that league, and then he couldn't recover anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much concern, if at all, does that give you? What do you, what do you think of his situation? If they're um, I mean, I'm not really concerned about it. I think, you know, my situation is probably different than his, so. Did you lean at all on, uh, on guys like uh, Taco and Chris for, you know, getting prepared for all of this? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit. I mean, just talking to all those guys. We had so many guys go through it, and, um, you know, I'm obviously in close contact with a lot of them. So, you know, just getting to speak with them and get to talk to them and uh, just get to hear what they had to say about, you know, the combine and, you know, pro day and, you know, what it was like to work out for teams. So, um, you know, they've been able to, you know, be great guidance and get to let me know and prepare for um, whatever's up. Was there anything different about this experience and pre preparing that's kind of taking you by surprise? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we only had two D linemen, so that was, you know, tiring, but, uh, you know, it was fun. What's next for you? How many team visits do you have set up, or, or where do you sort of go from here, I guess? Uh, you know, I'll just figure out what teams I'm going to go visit. Um, you know, I've met with all the teams, so, you know, just figure out which one I'm going to be fine to, and, uh, yeah, just go from there. How, do you have a number of, how many of those you have set up right now? Oh, I haven't set up any yet. <laughs> Do you have a dream scenario for, for draft day and, and where you might, you know, want to go? Uh, I mean, wherever it wants me, honestly, so. Did, did you have a favorite team growing up or anything like that? Uh, being from Boston, I was a Patriots fan growing up, so. Uh, I mean, hopefully first round, so we'll see. Did you have any doubts that you would be able to participate? I mean, did doesn't sound like you had any. No. Why were you so positive? Just because of the experience freshman year? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about people around you? How concerned were they? I'm uh, pretty concerned, but I mean, I think I knew everything's going to be fine, so. And just to be clear on the timeline, so when you came back after the combine, the Michigan tests were the, that next week? Yeah. And then the Harvard was the week after that? Mm hmm. And do you have any other future tests planned before the draft? <laughs> No. What are your plans for the draft? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Either go there or uh, hang out at home with my family. Did you get invited there in Dallas? Uh, yeah, I'm still waiting on my invite, but I'm sure I'll probably get invited there.